I'm not a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper type people love analytics. They live for analytics. We live from our analytics. So if you have results, you send out um, an email newsletter and you send it out through the mail. You don't know if it's even delivered. There's not anything that they can take action on. You cannot track whether or not their address is even correct unless they come back. A lot of those just get thrown away. We get mail at our office all the time for people that aren't there. I don't think we mail them back. Should we? Maybe we should. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Analytics. So what? Think about that. Is it part of your thinking process to find out whether or not the efforts you're making, are they working? And do you measure everything by dollars? Should you? Should that be a question that you even ask? Can you make adjustments and iterations based on your reporting and your analytics? Or is it guesswork? Are you just thinking, I didn't get a big enough response, we're gonna change this. Or maybe it was a great campaign, but without measurable response, you can't know that. So use things that give you some trackable data. Hypothesis testing, that just sounds so dull. However, if you do an email, <coughs> anybody ever done a split email? The number one question I get when I'm talking about email is when should we send an email? My response is know your audience. If you had a pizza company, your best time to send out an email might be four o'clock on a Friday evening. People worked hard this week. You send out a coupon, they're gonna get it in their email before they leave work and they're gonna think of you and you tell them, smell it. You can taste it. And oh, by the way, here's $5 off. Stop by between six and seven and save even more. That's a lousy time for anybody but a pizza company. But if you know your market, you know when people are the hungriest and when they buy the pizzas the most, why not? I wouldn't recommend that for my audience because people are going home. They could care less about marketing <laughs> on Friday night at 4.30. So what is your audience? Do you know who they are? Is it soccer moms? Wouldn't send something to them at 8.30 in the morning. They just got the kids to school and the last thing that they want to do is read more. Definitely don't send things at six o'clock at night. Why? It's dinner time. Nobody's gonna read them. <coughs> Even though we have this and everybody's face is into it, it's still not a good time to market. So think about that. Just know who your audience is and figure out what their lifestyle is. You can Google anything today. So if you know who your target audience is that you want to buy from you, do some demographics. Find out when they're doing what they do. What is their lifestyle activities? You can find all that stuff. There's nothing that's not on the, not on the internet today. And if it's on the internet, it's true. It's true. <laughs> what, what are some of the, the measuring devices you use for your analytics? Uh, email marketing. Because in the email marketing, our back office shows us who opened, who did not open, who forwarded, and if someone opened, who clicked on a link, then who posted that link on social media. So we have lots of chances to say thank you, but I also find out what people are interested in. And then I'll start a new newsletter to those people on that topic because they showed an interest. It gives us a way to drill down into that. But cost of contact is my best tool for my measurables. I didn't pay him to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> should have. <laughs> Maybe I don't get home. Maybe you'll get the toolkit. Anybody have any questions on this? Because this is the essence 
everything that we're talking about. Well, yes. Rana, will that be in the email? It is. The email will actually be this PowerPoint in a PDF. So if you don't have PowerPoint, you'll still be able to read it. 